Hi, I'm Bob Wesson, Director of Center Sales and Operations, and this morning I want to talk to you a little bit about proper coupling procedures, and that's hooking up any U-Haul trailer or towable equipment to any tow vehicle. And in order to do that, I, I brought someone along. It's Shannon Papa from UHI. She's the program manager for four trailers, and Shannon's going to help us walk through the process of uh, hooking up towable equipment. Well, Bob, the first step is to inspect. Inspect. What do you think that is? Um, okay, I think that's actually taking the trailer and inspecting, making sure, of course, that I have a roll pin, making sure that all the parts are working, and feeling underneath to make sure that the ball clamp is, uh, is smooth and there's nothing blocking it, that sort of thing. You bet, you bet. Okay. Well, well Bob, after you've inspected your coupler, now you're ready to attach. attach. That's the second step. So I'll just drop it on the ball. All right. Woo. Oh, wait, time out. You never want to take your hands off the hand wheel once you've dropped that coupler on there until you've tightened it up. That is a crucial step. Actually, that's a good rule, you know? So you're saying well, as soon as- it's a rule, certainly. We, as soon as I drop it on the ball, then I should be tightening it down. Tightening it up. That way nobody forgets, right? Is that the idea? Yeah, you don't want to be distracted. You don't want to start the wiring or the safety chains or anything else until you've tightened this down. In fact, if you can't tighten it down at that moment, go ahead and remove the coupler, and you know, the, the trailer from the ball and leave it there because we don't want any mistakes, anybody forgetting to go back and tighten it. It's a, it's a one step process. Drop the, drop the coupler on the ball, tighten it immediately. Tighten it every time. Got it. Got okay. it. Okay. Well, so and we've done we've done step one and two. All we've right. inspected, we've attached, and now we go to step three, which is adjust. Adjust. Okay. So that is... Well, you want to pull up and down on the coupler and see if you, you can okay, loosen sure. up that connection. Well, look, I did get a little more out of that. Got some more right. out of it. And you want to push back on the trailer and uh, give I've it a done. good shove so that you can... Really get that ball seated into the coupler. You got any more cranks there? I got a little more, sure. And you will. All right, well, those are the three steps. Inspect, attach, adjust. adjust. Good job. Thanks. The procedures for a large trailer is no different than it is for a small trailer that we just saw. You see Mark ins does the inspection. Now as he brings the U-Haul truck back, lines it up, it's part of attaching, lowers the coupler onto the ball. Once the jack is off the ground, Mark moves ahead, hand tightens the hand wheel. And moves on to adjust having the customer move forward slightly rather than pushing back on a trailer. Another thing to watch for when attaching an auto transporter or, or any trailer with the jack is to make sure as the coupler comes down and moves forward that the ball is not resting underneath the ball clamp. In this case, Mark has had the customer move forward again. Being experienced, Mark pulls back on the trailer a bit, hand tightens immediately. And then moves to the adjust having the customer again pull forward slightly. Okay, well, we've had a chance now to uh, uh, take a look at several different towing combination hookups and one of the things to review, of course, is inspect and so you want to inspect all the pieces and parts, attach, 
the, also the, a great point was made on attaching the trailer. When you put the coupler on the ball, tighten it down immediately. Don't look to the chains. Don't look to the wiring. Don't, uh, don't get distracted. If for some reason you have to leave the trailer, take the coupler off of the ball. But always, as soon as you drop the coupler on the ball, tighten it down, and, uh, and that way nobody's confused or thinks somebody else did it. And then adjust. You saw on the smaller trailer, we pushed back, we, we, we uh, moved it around a bit, pushed back on the trailer, got a, little bit more, uh, got a little bit more tightening out of that. And then on a larger trailer like the auto transport, you could try to muscle it, or you can move the equipment forward. You can push it, for, you could drive it forward just a bit and stop, and usually you've got a customer helping you with that. You just forward stop, check it, tighten it down a little bit more. So inspect, attach, adjust. And uh, the other, the one more critical part, of course, we, we saw uh, with the auto transport, uh, there are times when the ball clamp may come down and the ball is pushing up on the ball clamp. Don't be confused by that. You want to watch for that because the, as the, uh, the trailer is being lowered onto the ball, it moves forward slightly, doesn't it? So when it does, if it happens to get the ball up underneath the, uh, the ball clamp, you want to readjust. You want to either bring the uh, uh, jack back up and move the equipment or just drive the equipment forward as you saw slowly and it'll fall into the ball. But you want to make sure that it's on there properly each and every time.